San Andreas Fault, California's most feared fracture, just sent shockwaves through science and society. A new fissure ripped open the desert floor, triggering the USGS's rare red alert. Could this be the prelude to the long-dreaded big one? Watch now, before California's ground truth erupts into history. A few months ago, scientists announced the San Andreas Fault is due for another major earthquake, specifically in Southern California, but there hasn't been a major quake since 1857. It began as seismic stories so often do with something almost invisible, a subtle line bisecting the parched ground outside Southern California's sun-scorched valleys. At first glance, it might have seemed an innocuous scar in the earth, yet to the teams of geologists and seismologists descending with satellite scanners, drones, and ground-based sensors, this new crack was unmistakably significant, a symptom, perhaps, of a crisis long in the making. In April of 2025, millions of Californians felt the chill of a warning buzz through their phones and radios. The state's earthquake early warning system, itself a technological marvel, decades in the making, had issued its most urgent notification in living memory. This came after the detection of a surface fissure near the southern segment of the San Andreas Fault, a possible precursor of an immense shift beneath. In response, the U.S. Geological Survey broke with precedent, issuing an extremely rare top-tier red alert. Suddenly, the theoretical big one, long the focus of simulations and somber academic reports, felt uncomfortably close, perhaps not in decades, but potentially within days, hours, or in unpredictable minutes. This was not just another tremor. It was a signal that centuries of strain stored along the boundary between continental plates were pressing against the limits of both geology and human anticipation. The collision of the Pacific and North American plates, a slow motion drama written deep below California, seemed at this moment to be culminating. What does it mean when the silent engine of tectonics hints at a turn for the volatile, when California's most infamous fault may be shifting from dormant to unstable, and the systems built to protect millions of people flicker into their highest states of alert? Could this crack be the beginning of an event that will change California forever? Fault Lines and Dominoes to understand what is unfolding along the San Andreas, one must look past the single fissure now slicing through the desert soil. The fault itself is not merely a line. It is the perilous hinge between the restless Pacific plate and the massive North American plate. Upon this shifting seam rests California's landscape, its cities, its infrastructure. Every bridge, aqueduct, and skyscraper balanced atop an unstable foundation. For centuries, the southern segment of the San Andreas Fault has been especially notable to seismologists. Unlike the periodically rupturing segments further north around San Francisco, the southern stretch, specifically between the Salton Sea and San Bernardino, has remained eerily quiet since the late 17th century. This long dormancy signals not safety, but the accumulation of mounting tension, a spring wound beyond endurance. Geological studies suggest it has accumulated more than three centuries worth of tectonic pressure. Each year has only added to the invisible warp of the rocks beneath, storing energy capable of devastating the structures above. The fissure discovered in early 2025, confirmed through satellite imagery and targeted ground inspections signals more than surface drama. Its depth, its extent, and its displacement patterns echo the warning signs outlined in decades of earthquake hazard research. Geologists observe subtle yet unusual ground shifts, a reminder that in areas long monitored by modern instruments, any significant deviation can carry serious meaning. Why the alarm now? The answer resides in the very nature of the San Andreas system, a network not of a single fault, but a braided family of fractures stretching for hundreds of miles. Below the surface, the San Andreas links in complex ways to other significant faults, including the San Jacinto, the Elsinore, and the Garlock. Each of these can, in theory, trigger considerable earthquakes of their own. But the danger multiplies when a disturbance on one fault transfers stress to neighbors, a cascade that can escalate local shaking to a wider statewide or even national emergency. The red alert issued by the USGS is not a product of isolated fear. It comes from supercomputers digesting real-time data, 
strain maps from satellites, GPS measurements showing surface deformation, and logs from the growing network of seismometers. The data suggest not just a surface crack, but the potential for a complex chain of subsurface events. Researchers are now asking, if one segment of the San Andreas ruptures, could it push other segments past their limits too? Could we witness multiple failures close together in time, a scenario California's emergency plans have only begun to contemplate? The Science of Silence and Motion for the scientists devoted to Earth's mechanics, the last several months have been a period of urgent activity. The San Andreas Fault, so deeply intertwined with California's future, has always required respect. That respect comes from an understanding of its unpredictability. Strike-slip faults, like the San Andreas, behave in a cycle, periods of locked quiet followed by sudden, shattering jolts. For most of written history, the southern section has been silent, its tension locked away. Evidence of pre Previous ruptures has been documented in soil layers, sediment studies, and ancient tree rings. But the changes observed recently, a visible fissure, shifts in landform, and microseismic events have forced researchers to question prevailing models. Teams across Southern California have intensified their monitoring, deploying an array of geophones and seismometers to capture both broad tectonic shutters and the most delicate whispers from beneath the crust. These micro tremors, often too small to feel convey a record of stress. Notably, low-frequency tremors are now measured with uncommon regularity beneath the Coachella Valley and its surroundings, interpreted by some as possible foreshocks or, at the very least, an indication of deep rock movement. Adding complexity are isolated geochemical changes. Field scientists have documented abnormal moisture in previously arid soils and reported the emergence of hydrothermal gases in localized pockets. Such gases can indicate movement of high-pressure fluids deep within the earth, weakening resistance along the fault and perhaps increasing the chance of rupture. The spatial correspondence of these anomalies to the main fissure raises concern. Meanwhile, precise remote sensing via Interferometric Synthetic Aperture Radar, INSAR, satellites has mapped tiny millimeter scale shifts in the landscape's elevation. Taken together, these data depict a landscape not simply vibrating, but flexing, responding to forces deep within the Earth. A worrisome pattern is taking shape. For perhaps the first time in the modern era, multiple fault segments may be interacting with each other. High-resolution models fed by current data predict the possibility of extended, connected ruptures, a chain reaction event spanning hundreds of miles. Such a scenario, though rare, has the potential to create not a single earthquake, but a succession of severe, prolonged shaking across Southern California. The boundaries between fault segments, long a foundation of risk assessment, seem far less certain. In short, the models many have relied on may be unraveling just as the fissures themselves grow. Cascade of Consequences should the San Andreas rupture, the ramifications will extend far beyond physical shaking. A glance at any California map uncovers a sobering truth. Highways, railroads, aqueducts, and the skeleton of the state cities all pass over the San Andreas at multiple critical points. California's infrastructure, its true lifeblood, is crossed and recrossed by this fault. The most immediate threat to millions is, of course, the ground motion itself. A quake releasing centuries of stored stress from the southern segment could produce intense, long-duration shaking, strong enough to threaten even those structures considered state-of-the-art in seismic resilience. Brick buildings, especially older, unretrofitted ones, are notoriously vulnerable. Even modern skyscrapers designed to sway rely on assumptions about the frequency and duration of motion, assumptions potentially challenged by a multi-minute rupture. Another hazard lurks below, soil liquefaction. When the the ground is saturated, the shaking can cause it to temporarily lose all strength and behave as a liquid. In sediment-rich basins like the Los Angeles and the Imperial Valleys, this can mean sudden subsidence, tilting, or even swallowing of buildings and roads. Yet beyond the direct danger to people and structures, there is the threat to the networks that support daily life. Southern California's arteries, its water mains, electricity grids, freeways, and emergency networks are fragile at their cross with the San Andreas. A well-placed break might sever water supplies, interrupt power to millions,
civilians, destroy gas pipelines, and disable communication lines. USGS emergency scenarios predict that even a moderate rupture could isolate regions, rendering roads impassable, collapsing bridges, derailing trains, and cutting off outside support, a reality already factored into preparedness planning. Timing compounds the peril. Should a major event strike at night, millions might be caught at home, sleeping or unprepared. First responders could find themselves immobilized by debris-choked access routes, while hospitals might struggle to cope with surges and casualties or lose power themselves. The risk of post-quake fire looms large. History records that ruptured gas lines and damaged electric networks ignite blazes, often when fire response is at its most limited. But the ripples of such a disaster would not stop at the state's borders. Southern California underpins critical sectors of the U.S. economy, ports, logistics, logistics hubs, tech campuses, and defense operations all depend on functioning infrastructure. An extended interruption at major ports or in the logistics chains of Los Angeles and Long Beach could ripple across national and even global markets. Previous studies show that restoring water, power, and transportation through a disrupted fault corridor could take weeks or longer, leaving grocery store shelves empty, fuel in short supply, and entire industries in limbo. In the face of so much interdependence, how far would the dominoes tumble? The limits of prediction and the compulsion to prepare. The greatest source of public anxiety is not what scientists know, but what remains unknowable. Earthquakes, for all our advancements, still largely defy prediction. They evolve out of complex, non-linear systems governed by subtle and often unmeasurable details. The Southern San Andreas, silent and mysterious for centuries, now confronts researchers with signals that are both compelling and ambiguous. Debate in the scientific community has sharpened. On one hand, there is caution. History provides examples where alarming seismic clusters eventually faded into quietude, and heightened activity has persisted for years without a major event. On the other, the convergence of warning signs, the surface crack, the emergence of low-frequency tremors, increased micro geochemical anomalies, feels uncomfortably reminiscent of patterns seen before large quakes elsewhere, such as Japan's 2011 Tohoku quake and more recently in Turkey. This is not merely academic. The evolving signals are challenging the risk models for California's greatest fault. Traditional geological mapping divided the San Andreas into discrete segments, northern, central, southern, assigned distinct risk profiles with little expectation for simultaneous rupture. Now, some earthquake models fed by new data suggest that multi-segment ruptures could indeed occur, creating quakes with far longer durations and greater magnitudes than previously anticipated. One such modeled scenario, a rupture from the Salton Sea far north toward Parkfield, hundreds of miles of fault giving way in rapid succession, could produce up to two minutes of violent shaking. California's earthquake preparedness is extensive, but it has never contended with a disaster of that scale. Consequently, emergency management agencies are responding with urgency. Plans that once centered on single fault events are being expanded to encompass domino effects. Wider regional disasters, federal, state, and local agencies are updating hazard maps, revisiting evacuation routes, and reviewing their stockpiles of emergency supplies. Insurers are recalculating risk, and city planners in rapidly growing areas such as the Inland Empire are revisiting building standards, even zoning, where neighborhoods press up against the visible fault trace. Earthquake warning systems like ShakeAlert are being further tested and broadened. Every additional second of warning can matter. It allows trains to halt, gas valves to close, and elevators to return to the nearest floor. Measures that, though limited, save lives. Yet, as robust as these systems are, they can only delay, not prevent, natural forces. The Tremors Beneath Society as governments and scientists respond, a quieter psychological transformation takes root. The visible fissure crossing once calm farmland is more than a technical datum. It is a symbol, a visible sign that something deep and unpredictable is unfolding. The effect on communities near the fault cannot be overstated. Some report faint, persistent vibrations at night with odd, low hums matching spikes in seismometer readings. Though animals reacting to impending earthquakes remains debated in scientific 
scientific literature, many residents claim their pets are restless, while local birds alter their morning routines. The scent of wet, freshly opened earth hangs in newly cracked neighborhoods. Such changes, combined with photos and observations shared on social media, fuel a communal anxiety. With new urgency, school districts update earthquake drills, rehearsing not just duck and cover, but more comprehensive reunification and evacuation protocols. Local governments scrutinize bridges, hospitals, and vital utilities, weighing their ability to withstand not merely theoretical shaking, but an unprecedented reality. Water supplies are secured, backup power systems checked, and emergency operations centers stand ready for activation. Portable satellite communications are moved into place, a hedge against loss of cell phone or internet service. There is a palpable shift in the collective consciousness. For decades, earthquakes have been a possibility, a rare occurrence that would eventually fade from memory after each minor tremor. Now, with evidence etched into the ground and flooding into digital dashboards, Californians must reckon with the immediacy of their situation. Social media platforms pulse with homegrown footage, cracks evolving, objects rattling inexplicably, surface undulations and fields that were once smooth. At a deeper level, the realization is profound the seemingly stable land and the entire human infrastructure woven atop it remains at the mercy of ancient planetary forces. Out of this reckoning arises a call for resilience, self-organization, and adaptation at every level, from individuals to institutions. For as communities look ahead, the question lingers. If the crack widens, will we be prepared or simply caught as observers? A force that will not wait Whatever uncertainty remains, some truths are irrefutable. The Earth will move according to its own cycles, indifferent to the hopes and plans of humanity. The San Andreas is not a malfunctioning machine, but the visible seam in a trillion-ton ballet of tectonic convection and collision, a reminder that our cities and lives are fleeting guests in a far older story. In the days since the USGS issued its exceptional red alert, research efforts have intensified. INSAR satellites wheel overhead, transmitting precise ground movement data. Ground teams fan out, comparing new markers against archived records, eyes peeled for even the subtlest changes. Any unexplained ground warmth is logged, new surface cracks are mapped, and every rumble in the vicinity of the San Jacinto and Garlock Faults is analyzed for patterns, each small datum another piece of an immense, unfinished puzzle. This urgency is not the realm of scientists alone. Civil society is mobilizing. Public campaigns distribute disaster kits and information on earthquake safety. Neighborhood organizations strengthen emergency communication lines, checking on the elderly, the disabled, and those who might be isolated. Faith groups, local leaders, and volunteers coordinate both practical aid and emotional support Support, knowing that true resilience arises from shared action. Nevertheless, all preparedness comes with its limits. The millennia-old mechanics beneath California cannot be stopped by engineering or foresight, only mitigated. The land beneath the state, imbued with the immense energy shaped over eons, will shift on its own timeline, regardless of human effort. In the gathering anticipation, scientists and residents alike confront a question posed for generations. Is this the crack near Coachella Valley, the sudden flurry of low-frequency activity, and the rare USGS Red Alert, the prelude to an unprecedented disaster, or simply another enigmatic chapter in the restless legacy of the San Andreas. Within the boundaries of incomplete knowledge, there is room for both caution and resolve, to act, to prepare, and to carry forward courage born not from panic, but from a clear-eyed sense of shared vulnerability. The days ahead remain shrouded in uncertainty. The San Andreas Fault, long notorious, often underestimated, has sent its first warning skittering across California's golden surface. Scientists accelerate their investigations, communities band together, and every tremor, every fissure, becomes both a lesson and a warning. For those who live atop this restless seam, these days will be added to California's long memory. A reminder that even the firmest ground is, and always has been, alive. If you found this exploration worthwhile, share it with those who seek to understand and endure the forces shaping our world. The Earth is speaking, and its next movement may reshape everything.